Hey guys, so I have my skincare routine for you today. Um, if you remember from my 2011 beauty resolutions, I said that one of my resolutions was to keep up with my skincare routine, and then another one was to find the perfect skincare routine. And I think, for the most part, I have nailed it down to what I use, what works for me, and what I'll be sticking with. There is one product here, two products here, uh, that aren't here. That I love or that I use. Um, one of them is the Bosha cleanser. It's like a gel cleanser. Um, you can get it at like Sephora. Uh, it's the higher end product that like facial cleanser that I love. I've had two samples of it from Sephora and every time I've used it it's done miracles for my skin. It just it cleans it very well and I don't break out from it. It actually keeps like my face. It doesn't dry out my face. Um, I have oil, I have combination skin, like my cheek area and like right here and then like, um, like under my eyes, stuff like that, it gets really dry, but like my T-zone, some on my forehead, a little around here, and primarily my chin get really oily and that's why I'm prone for breakouts is my chin. Um, so I usually have to use oil-free, um, everything because if I use anything that's got too much in it. Within a day, I can see that my face is about to break out, or that is breaking out. So, um, almost everything I have here is oil-free, or very, like, light on the oil. So, um, the first thing I use, this is just the Clinique Wash Away Gel Cleanser. It's just the cleanser I was using. I got this at my CCO. Um, I was just use I was in the market for a gel cleanser months and months ago, and I, so I bought two of these to use. And it, I don't think it's anything special. Like, I think that I'm hoping that this is comparable to the next item that I show you. Um, and it doesn't break me out. And it keeps my face clean. So, I mean, it works. It just isn't, I don't think it's worth the $15 that I pay for it. Um, whereas I'm hoping that this is going to be... The higher end version of this which is the clean and clear foaming facial cleanser is oil free it says medicated to kill problem causing bacteria without over drying which is exactly what i need i have not used this yet because i'm trying to finish this up so as soon as i finish this up i will use this and i'll let you know clean and clear actually is basically the line that i use to keep my face as clear as it is um and 90 percent of what i use is clean and clear so I didn't think that I could go wrong using this, so I'm I'm excited to try this out. It should be in the next week or so that I finish that cleanser, so I'll be able to try this out and let you guys know how it works. But for the most part, those are the two like everyday cleansers that I use. I use at night before I go to bed. And then in the morning, I use one of two things. I either use my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser, oil free. It also has the Morning Burst beads in it, with bursting beads in it. Um, and it's like this, and it's oil-free again, like I said. Um, so that works really well. I've been using that for the last couple weeks, and I really do like it. Um, and then whenever I don't use that, I use this, which is the morning Clean and Clear Morning Surge Facial Clen Facial Cleanser. Let me see if I get that right. Morning Burst Surge, and it comes with like you can buy the refills. It comes with these little pads that you just put on there, and then it turns on. There's two different speeds. You just get it wet and then you massage it on your face. Um, when I first bought this, I really did think that it was going to be somewhat comparable to the Clarisonic. Um, but then after researching it, I realized that this is like a cleanser. It like, you just move it over your face. Like you don't get to exfoliate with this because it's a pad that's not really rough. And it's not a brush head. So it's not going to like get that dead skin off. I did like it. Um, I just... I noticed that there were some mornings where I really needed something to wake up my face and to just, and then there were some days when I needed more of a cleanser, like more um, action, I guess you could say. So on days when my face is fine and I just need to wash it, I'll use this. On days where I need like an extra boost of like energy or like something to wake me up, or if my face is having like a breakout or something, I will use this. Okay, and then for makeup removal. Um, I haven't used this in a long time. I've been lazy, just been using my makeup wipes. But um, usually I will use the Gentle Eye Makeup Remover by Rimmel. 
for my like for just removing like my eye makeup and then usually I use the clean and clear oil free makeup remover wipes I love them they they smell decently like they're not offensive in any way they are oil free so that helps and they really work to get everything off my face but um, just because I wanted to try these out I right now have the yes to cucumber facial towelettes um, and it says it's a gentle cleansing and makeup it's a gentle cleansing and makeup removal wipe well right now I prefer my clean and clear ones over these um, but I think because these are just a touch too rough on my eyes I know that I'm supposed to use like an actual makeup remover for my eyes but right now I just think that these are I mean they work great on my face but I think I just need to start using my makeup remover my eye makeup remover on my eyes instead of these and um, so I might see a better I might have better progress with um, those if I do it that way but those are what I'm using right now. Usually I use the clean and clear ones, which are my favorite. Um, those, I've never had a problem with those. So, um, and then for like an exfoliator, right now I, I haven't used my normal one in a while because I've been using the Be Fine Food Skin Care Exfoliating Cleanser. This I got in my, um, February Birch Box. And I use this every time I exfoliate. I love, um, how gritty it is, I guess you could say, because then I feel like I'm getting more of an exfoliation out of it. So I've been using that and I really do like the results. And then when I'm not using that, when I want to use just my regular exfoliator, I have the Clean and Clear Advantage 3-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, it says exfoliate skin. I'm pretty sure this is oil free. The sticker might just be covering it up. But... But it says exfoliates skin, treats pimples, helps prevent breakouts. And I've used that for a while and it works really well. So I've been using that for at least six months if not longer. Um, I've been using most of these clean and clear things for a while now, for at least a month to get really good use out of them. Um, and then anything else I've been using, I've been doing some masks. I've been using this one, it's the Facial Peel Off Cucumber Mask. And it's by Feeling Beautiful, Freeman Feeling Beautiful. Looks like this. I did a review of this on my blog, like one of the very first blog posts I did. Um, but since then I started using it again. And I find that I do this a lot. I will review a product after using it a couple times. And I will just not like it. Well then I'll start using it later on just to make sure, just to double check. And I'll end up liking it. I did it with the falsies and I'm doing it with this. I do like this. My problem using it the first couple times was I put it on too thick and I didn't let it dry long enough so I wouldn't so it wouldn't peel off right it would just be gooey but I use this um, two to three times a week and every time I wear it or every time I use it when I'm peeling it off it just it makes me feel like I'm peeling off all the in, impurities on my face and I really like that. Um, there's a few other masks that I've worn in the last month or so that they're just like I think there was one called anti-stress mask that I got from Walmart I think it was like a dollar um, and I liked that as well um, but for the there's also one product I forgot to mention in um, all these it is my moisturizer my moisturizer is the clean and clear advantage acne control moisturizer it's oil free and it has salicylic acid um, acne medication in it um, I basically use this twice a day I will do it after I cleanse the morning and after I cleanse at night and I really do think that this is one of the main components of my skincare routine that help me prevent the breakouts or that help the breakouts go away when I do get breakouts. Um, <clears throat> I really have no complaints on this product whatsoever. It doesn't stink, which would be a big complaint for me. Um, but it does also doesn't smell amazing. It's just, you know, a very natural lotion-y smell, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, this is this goes along with the same lines as the Clean Clear Advantage Acne Scrub that I use. So um, that line in itself it's, it has worked really well for me. I just want to make sure I threw this in with the mix because even though this isn't like a cleanser, this has a huge part in my skincare routine. For the most part, this is my skincare routine. I do plan on getting a Clarisonic eventually. Um, I don't think that'll be anytime soon. Probably for my birthday in September is my goal. Um, so for the most part, these, this is what works for me. 
And to be honest with you, like, I don't feel like I need to try any higher end products right now because if I can get the things that work for me at a drugstore price, I mean, that's just killing two birds with one stone because I have great skin because of the products I'm using and I'm saving the money. Um, I do, however, think that eventually I will buy the full size of the Bosha cleanser only because it did work so well when I had the samples. Um, I also had a sample of a Bosha mask. Um, not the black tar looking one. I hated that one. The other one. It's like a white color. I really suck at names. I don't remember what the name was called. But um, I really liked that one and also. So I might eventually buy both of those in full size. But for right now, this is what I use. This is what I stick with. Um, yeah, and so when I do have breakouts, because I do get them every so often, if I use a product that my face isn't used to or if I use too much of something, um, what I do is, I really don't do anything special, I just cleanse like I normally do, I exfoliate, and I usually will use a mask more often when I break out, because I notice that that will help too. Um, but for the most part, I just try to keep makeup off that area, like, because it's almost always on my chin, and so, and then rarely I'll get one like on my lip or nose or something, but whenever I do break out, I just try not to have makeup on that area. Or, like, the least amount of makeup possible, like, if I have to go to work or school or something. Okay, so that is my skincare routine right now. If you guys have any questions on these products, um, like I said, the Clinique cleanser I got at my CCO, um, and the Be Fine one I was sent in my February birch box, but everything else I got at either Walmart or Target. So you can find any of these at your local drugstore, like a CVS, Walgreens, or like a department store like Walmart, Target, etc. So um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know down below in a comment. And if you guys have used any of these products and you love them or if you hate them, let me know. I'd be curious to see what you guys think of some of them. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.